Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Blush and today's video is going to be just a kind of um, going through some of my favorite products, telling you guys what I've been really liking and um, maybe even touching on some stuff that I've recently purchased and I'm not really feeling. Um, yeah, so um, without further ado, here's the video. First off, I want to start talking about some new face products that I've recently started using that I've really been enjoying. Beginning with cleansers, um, I have this new little, um, this is kind of just like I found it at the checkout aisle at Ulta. It's called, um, but it's by Mario Badescu and it's an enzyme cleansing gel, which the, the word enzyme is actually kind of what caught my eye. Um, I figured that the, uh, the enzymes would kind of meld into the skin and um, cleanse it really well. I feel like my skin has gotten a little bit better uh, from using it. I don't have nearly as large of acne spots. They're just kind of like these little guys. Um, you know, I've been dealing with them for a while, but I feel like my skin has gotten a little bit better with it. And then in conjunction with that, I use the Mario Badesco. Um, it's a face spray, and this is um, in lavender and chamomile, which is like one of my favorite scents. And you can put this on um, after you apply your makeup as like a refresher spray or, you know, as a um, calming um, kind of face mist before you put on your moisturizer. Lavender is supposed to be very good for calming the face and kind of relieving redness and um, also breaking up blemishes and so I've been really enjoying that. Um, next I'm going to talk about one cleanser that I purchased and it's like I'm kind of on the fence like I don't know if I hate it or if I kind of low-key love it. So this is by Garnier um, and this is their Soothing Cleansing Milk. Um, this is made with rose water and it says that it doesn't have any parabens, dyes, silic silicones, or sulfates and it's a vegan formula. So I figured I would just give it a shot. Um, my only problem with this is I find, I use it at night, um, to take off all my makeup and I just feel like it kind of leaves like a greasy residue on your face. So I'm not 100% thrilled about that. But um, I'm, I think I'm gonna finish the bottle and then probably not repurchase. But it's like I have it. It doesn't do anything bad to my skin. Like it doesn't make me break out more. It's just a, like personally, like I, when I wash my face, I don't wanna feel greasy afterwards. Like that's kind of gross. So that's kind of a me. Next, I've talked about this um, moisturizer before. This is actually the Garnier brand. I was using the Neutrogena but this is their um, Moisture Balm uh, moisturizer and it has antioxidants and hydraulic acid and all that good stuff for your skin. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, this formula is a little bit different than the um, Neutrogena one that I was using. I think this dries a little more like a gel, whereas the other one was a little bit more of, more of a, um, like a more true moisturizer, like a cream. Um, but it goes on super lightweight. It doesn't make me feel greasy at all. It really like blends into your skin nicely. So um, I've been really, really, really enjoying that and will definitely repurchase. Next up, this is something I actually picked up at Marshalls, but um, I, this brand in particular is something that I absolutely love. This is by Ahava, and this is their Dead Sea Osmoter Concentrate, and it's a moisture and radiance boosting serum. Um, I've been to Israel a few times, and every single time that I go, I stock up on any and all things that I can find that are Ahava brand, and the reason is because I truly think that their product is like one of the best things out on the market. Not only does it smell incredible, it's like fresh and crisp and sometimes there's like some floral notes in there too, depending on which line you get. 
but every single product that I have used from their facial, facial cleansers to their um, exfoliators to their lotions to every single thing, face, body, it's a win for me. Um, their products are a little more on the expensive side for as much as I would like to use them every day. So finding this at Marshall's for like $3 was a huge win for me. Love it. We'll definitely repurchase um, anything and all things Ahabo. Next up, um, I found on clearance at Sephora a whole bundle packet of Glam Glow. It was like two masks, um, a moisturizer, and this, um, oh wait, this is the moisturizer. It was two masks, a moisturizer, and, oh, and a setting spray, which I also have right here. So the setting spray is okay. Um, I haven't really noticed that it does like the best job with setting or making my makeup look great throughout the day. I'll, I'm kind of partial to my Fix Plus, so, um, but it smells nice. Um, and it was in the back in the package, so that's all good. Um, but this moisturizer is the bomb. Like this is just the best thing ever. And I'm gonna put it on right now so that you can kind of see because I've already done um, like all the other products that I mentioned earlier, except for um, this. I didn't put this on today. I I just put this on instead. So this is in the shade Nude Glow. Why a moisturizer has shades, I don't know. But anyway, it looks like that. And um, we're just gonna put a little bit on our face and you can kind of see if my lights won't go crazy. This stuff is seriously, it smells, first of all, it smells incredible. Like all of Glam Glow's masks, I love the way they smell. It's like fruity, kind of smells, this reminds me of like a, um, the orange creamsicle. It has like that really like vanilla and almost like peachy citrus. It's delicious. Oh, this just gives you like, I mean, you can kind of see in the light. I know it's not really, that's horrible, okay. So it's not really picking it up with my crazy lights, but you can kind of see right in through here. It gives you like this really pretty sheen, like glow from within. Love it. So highly recommend this Glam Glow. It's called the Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer and it's in Nude Glow and I'm into it and I'm feeling it and I'm gonna buy it again. Um, Glam Glow products are kind of expensive. So that's like one of the things like for my birthday when people buy me gift cards. Uh, I'll use that for that. So yeah. Uh, next, I just want to really quickly talk about, I know this is kind of like a weird product to mention, but definitely want to talk about it um, because it's something that I've been like, kind of recently getting into. Well, that's not true. Like I've been, over the years, I've been really trying to get better about um, not using products that are laden with ingredients that I can't pronounce, lots of chemicals, um, and especially like with deodorants and things like that. I'm often on the hunt for a great deodorant that is aluminum free. Um, and I found it, I found it like, this is great. So this is by Schmitz and the scent is charcoal and magnesium. This stuff, seriously, it's a deodorant, but I swear to you, it also helps with not sweating. This deodorant I purchased on a whim at Target because I was searching for another like natural deodorant and I saw this and I was just like, we gotta give it a try. Um, the smell is great and it really does do a great job. I feel like I don't sweat that much. Um, you sweat a little bit because it doesn't have antiperspirant in it, which is primarily what the aluminum is for. So, I mean, mostly, it's the scent, like I don't want to smell at all. So this has been great. Um, I, you know, I work at a brewery, so I'm on my feet and I move around a lot and I sweat. And this lasts my entire shift and the entire day without getting stinky. So definitely love Schmitz. Lots of scents. Go buy it. Next up, this is like a super important step that I feel like my hair, so first of all, 
I got my hair re-dyed uh, last week. Thank God, because she was looking super ratchy. Um, the most important thing for me with my hair, my natural, my natural texture of hair is it's thick. It does have a natural wave to it. Um, and I tend to get frizzy. So I battled with my hair for most of my life. And recently, I would say within the last, like maybe three, two or three years, I've really grown to like love and appreciate my hair and really like understand how to style it and take care of it properly. And number one thing that you can do if you're having problems with your hair, like it's super frizzy or your ends are just not good, you know, if you color treat your hair and your ends are just like fried and won't style, I highly recommend get yourself some fucking organic coconut oil. I got this from Aldi. Make sure that it's organic. Make sure that it's unrefined, cold-pressed, virgin coconut oil. Don't mess around with any, like, bullshit, like, fake, I don't know. Get yourself the good shit, okay? Slather it all over your hair. Focus it at the ends. Go here and then go here and then go here and then go here and massage it in. If you have tea tree oil, like essential oils, tea tree oil, mix that shit in. It will help your hair grow. Tea tree oil has um, characteristics in it where it makes like the roots stimulated or like where the follicles i don't it does some crazy magic juju to your hair and the coconut oil also uh not only like conditions it but for whatever reason with me i find it makes my hair grow faster so put that shit in your hair once a week if it's really bad once a month if it's not terrible i do mine once a month um but if i'm having some problems i will do it once a week Usually not more than that. Um, and I usually leave it on for at least an hour, at least an hour. And um, I'll put like a shower cap over it. So it like really like all the heat kind of conditions everything. Um, and it also doesn't get everywhere. So get yourself some organic virgin coconut oil and get yourself a shower cap and put that shit all over your hair. And you will thank me later. I promise you promise you okay great moving right along this was a gift that one of my friends gave to me it's the righteous butter by soap and glory can you tell i liked this product no because i just bought the fucking full size one at ulta this stuff not only smells incredible it's like fresh spa like just amazingness but it's super thick like like super thick and it is the best lotion that i have ever used i'm putting on my feet right now which i will not show you because nobody wants to see my feet right now but um honestly like best best foot lotion if you have super dry feet dry cracked hands, dry elbows, whatever your dry spots are that are like gross and nasty and you don't really want to show, I swear to you, put this stuff on and your entire being will be changed because it's just the best. So this was actually not too bad of a price point for this gigantic thing. I think I paid like $15 for it. Um, I normally wouldn't spend that much money on lotion. However, this is like a very specific type of thing where I, I just use it for like on my heels on my feet because they're nasty and um it is the best it's a lifesaver okay highly recommend would definitely repurchase i'm gonna have to pin this shit back so next i'm just gonna very quickly talk about this product this is my new curling wand this is by Lange. And a coworker of mine turned me on to this. They are having a sale right now. No, I do not have a code. It is just on their website, $45 for this. Um, they are normally not that cheap. Um, I actually looked on Ulta and they are almost double the price through there. So if you are looking for a good wand, this is the 32 millimeter. They also have a 25 millimeter, which I will also be purchasing. 
Um, but this gives like the really nice loose waves. I don't really know how to curl my hair. Like I'm very new at this. So I'm just grateful that it kind of looks like nice. Um, but for those of you out there who are like super like into doing all of this, um, I'm sorry that I have brought shame upon the hair curling community. I'm trying. I think that's it, honestly. Yeah, that's it. So that was just a quick little video uh, to get you back into the groove of things with me. Sorry about taking some time off from doing this. I just like, you ever just like get in a rut? Like you, you get like so gung-ho about something and then like you're just kind of like, I don't have anything to talk about anymore. Well, that was me. That is me. I still don't have anything to really talk about. Um, <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you like me or you like these videos or like, I, I don't know if you're bored and like just here doing stuff. Um, I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And uh, if I could just stop touching my hair to make it like not ratchet, that'd be really great. But in the meantime, my name is Michelle Blush. Thanks so much for coming here and I'll see you next time.